name is Peter Sirwimba from Zambia. And the Peter you are seeing today, standing here, is not the Peter you would have seen before I joined the UNICA University. Within a short period of time that have been with the university, from the time I started the induction module to where I am now, there has been a significant change in almost all walks of life. But because I've got the limited time to, 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 to present my essay, so I would, I would classify into five major life aspects. I would not itemize all of them, but into five life aspects. But there's so far only one thing about me that is, seems to be surviving. And by the end of my program, it will also not remain the same. Can you guess what that is? The guy is very intelligent. The name as well. I'm called Peter Sirwimba. By the time I'm completing my program, my name will be extended to Dr. Peter Sirwimba. That's unique for you. Amazing. Amazing. So it's true that uh, my entire life has been and is going through significant metamorphosis. Sorry to, to borrow the geoscience technical term. Right? With significant changes, in this case, I would mention one in my personality and the character in my integrity and ethos, social life, spiritual life, and the economic life, five. Now, my life has been exposed or subjected to what we could call or coin a new term now, unicaft impact. <laughs> it's a new term in the dictionary. Unicaphic impact, which are actually as a result of educational meteorites as well as the academic measles that UNICAF is actually exerting on me. <laughs> now, let me explain how each part of my life, the five aspects I've mentioned, have been transformed. So exciting. Of course, it is something that all of us, we, we are going through. So nothing new. But it's just it was more like a reminding of the changes that all of us, it's not only peculiar to me, but to all. I'm sure you agree. The first one, my character and personality. So this has been transformed just starting with the knowledge that I'm acquiring and accumulating so far. I'm done with the, the all module parts for my PhD. Now I'm going into the dissertations. And the demeanor, my conduct, and my character have just started transforming themselves automatically to suit the class of caribou. Then, the second one, my ethos and integrity. So I've become and developed the culture of appreciating the efforts of others, as well as trying to ensure that if I am paraphrasing, surely a person who was behind the intellectual content should be, should be recognized. This is a very good gesture, even in our community, very good, even in the family. It's a, it's a very good uh, arrangement. So I'm acting as a profession, 
more than the way I was before. Third, my social life. This is what is common to everyone. As I said, it's, it's something that um, is affecting everyone. You would be shocked that uh, I was a very outgoing person, an extrovert, and I could sustain, maintain, and remain active in more than 20 WhatsApp groups, chat groups. We're not talking about this. <laughs> so what has happened is that my social life has been modified because of these unique impacts and the meteorites. <laughs> so what is happening is that because I've got a module which has been designed in such a way that I have to participate into the discussion. I have to take part into, in, in, in the formative essay. I also have to come up with the formative within a one week. By the way, I never knew that the day is uh, 24 hours of length. <laughs> never did I know that uh, a week he has got seven days. <laughs> Not until I joined UNICAF. Fourth, my economic life. Thanks so much to the scholarship. About 65% of my scholarship I'm enjoying with the generous UNICAF. But being a, a responsible person coming from a low background, and you know, I deliberately avoided mentioning my family background. Do you know the reason why? You would have, I would have thrown the whole lot of this group into crying. For, for me to meet the, the, the 35%, which is, it needs good saving habits, which I can say I never had before. I have to make sure that I plan my limited resources until the time when the module is, is, is due for registration, I'll do that without difficulty. Okay, let me conclude with my spiritual life. Now, because of the way UNICAF has arranged my affairs so far, of which I'll continue with this modding, with this metamorphosis, because it is for the better. I've limited my time to only two important things, and I'm only in three places where I, I can predictably be found. It's either studying, because you know PhD is quite involving, you need to have references, uh, and as you can go up to even 70 references, you know that. Then I would be at work because I've got a huge responsibility there, reporting the CRO or third from uh, the, the, the CEO in a parastato company and at the place of worship. Three. So the time that I was wasting in these other things are dedicated to value-laden, spiritual-oriented aspects. And a lot of people have um, identified this. They have seen a change. The list of the things that I'm undergoing, I'm undergoing change, they are quite immense, practical ones. And a lot of people could ask, what has come in you now? It's only maybe worship, work, and... So I'm explaining to them about the UNICAF arrangement. And you know how many have persuaded by doing so? Six. So for those students who know what a referral is, they, would have, they, would, they know what that's uh, what. It's a very big gain. So this is basically about what UNICAF has done to me. A life-changing opportunity. Next time when I've got... Uh, I'm granted the opportunity. I'll come back with an essay or a presentation on how UNICAF has helped me to improve the society. Thank you for listening.